the time of the flash, we were outside of town, the town fighting monsters. They were strong, but we had courage and will. But then the flash shook the earth. I should have given my men orders to retreat. My men glanced my way every once in a while, but even then I did give the order. Did I want to claim credit for victory, or was I overconfident? Either way, I lost my men and our shield. My career has ended, but I should have, but I have survived despite my foolish mistake. It is embarrassing, but please find our shield. Such a pathetic thing. This tattered body won't even allow me to remedy my failure. Gustav disappeared to the tavern crowd. So, right. And we are back. When we last left off, left off we had reached B5. Um and quests we have recover a party shield, opening a weapon shop, so we have to kill certain monsters to get this up to complete this quest. And that one we have to do on B4. So we're still gonna be exploring B4 a bit before we actually properly move to B5. Maps on my end, so I know I'm going to B4 because B4 is probably the one chunk of the game where I'm actually like, no, I got to reference a map um, because of all the stupid pitfalls. All right, so quest three, I need to drop into. Tw okay. Alright, I want to hold off on some of the extra um, transfer item collection stuff because... Well, actually, wait, there's... I think there is a thing of unlocked now. Let me check. So by about this point, I believe I'm going to see some of the, the guide stuff. Be sure there's um, the guy who we were dealing with earlier was selling monsters. Um, should have set up a monster part shop. Where if you sell him any one monster part, they'll be able to sell other monster parts of that type later. Here we go. A merchant with an orc and rotting corpse on his side was yelling. Come on by, we finally opened. It's the material shop. We're on the first floor, directly in front of the Imperial Quarters, and we're open 24-7. As you looked on, they noticed you and all of them approached you. Hey, good timing. Just going around and advertising my new shop. You know what kind of shop? That's for you to come by and find out for yourself. Anyway, come by. It's the room directly in front of the Imperial Quarters. Almost forgot, these guys are working for me. The Orcus Francois you've met before, right? It's me a while. Nice to seize you again. And the rotting corpse is Catherine. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. I am Catherine. These guys are great workers. Let me bring it back to the shop. Well, I'll be waiting.
Uh, I guess I can't use the screenshot of Cath uh, with Catherine on, on screen then for uh, Tumblr. Here we go. We're at the shop. Hey. As you notice, the drastic change in the room since the last time you were tapped on the shoulder from behind. What do you think? Gathered some of the junk that was lying around? Don't you think it's starting to look like a real shop? I'm prepared to open up my material shop. We wanted to open a shop close to town, but I but I ended up a little farther away. The closest room had town all these wooden boxes and bags lying around. But a strange girl seemed to be living there already. She yelled at me and said, What the heck are you doing? I, I think I know who that is. Well, this place ain't that far, so I don't think it's going to be much of a problem. And so, this is where I am now, trying to open up a material shop. This material shop specializes in materials only where you can buy and sell them freely. Then you can sell materials at, vi at Vigor Shop, but you can't buy them, right? Probably because these materials have monster blood and fluids caked into them. They have massive stuck in their sm this kind of stuff in their small shop would smell worse than monster fart. That's why the wife started making magic stuff from materials in order to get rid of the ones sold to them. It's only now that people are talking about mixing materials, but each material had powers of its own. Let's forget about people, what people say. But I just wanted to tell you that I've opened a shop specializing in materials. And, um, honestly, since we just opened, we don't even have one thing to sell. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Would you mind selling me one of your materials? If you do, I can surprise you. I mean, next time, you'll be able to material sold me without any limit. Why, you ask? Well, that's top secret. Want to, sell, want to try selling me material if you have one handy? Yes, I do, actually. So I'm going to sell... Brought meat, boom, and a uh, broken sword, and thief's blood. You don't want to sell all of your materials to him, but ah, Francois, ugh, ugh. It was Francois, the orc you met before at the merchant's shop, staggering along while carrying a huge load of items. Ugh, ugh. I got to hurry with this stuff. I just don't want my pay to go down. The materials I as be delivered sells a lot. I'd be getting a, a, a bonus. But I as can buy what Catherine wanted. Coffin. Coffin. That's a coffin. A coffin. I just give her this present. So I need to work hard. Francois did not even notice you and wobbled towards the material shop. Okay. Um, uh, also checking in with my crazy fellow quest people. Let's poke my head into Helga's room. Rose forward riches, novelty products. Recently, but seems to have been read countless times. Diary is locked. Unlock the diary. The stranger came back to my room when I was back from town. I couldn't believe it. The stranger didn't steal anything, but it's still like being a burglar. This is how my diary looked at. Well, either way, I could think it didn't have any written anything yet. If I had something written, I'd be embarrassed for life. I guess the labyrinth really is dangerous. Oh, where's my prince on a white horse? <clears throat> I turned in a quest today at the tavern for the first time. I was pissed at the bartender for telling me how ridiculous my quest is. I'll show him. Hope somebody took my quest soon. Hope he's a good-looking 25 or 26-year-old sorcerer. Maybe he'll cast a love spell on me. Just kidding. My quest was finally accepted. It was accepted quicker than I expected. Gosh, that was easy. And he already had the stone. What's that punk orc giving it to a lame-ass adventurer but not giving it to me? The orc gets the death penalty next time I see him. Well, at least the Labyrinth Zone is safely in his hands. 
I tried to make a magic stone with the dur oh, stone Durgan brought back. But if it cast Krita, it would turn into a Krita stone. But all it was got real hot in the state of stone. What a disappointment. But I was supposed to succeed in opening a magic stone shop, but I'm ready for my next hope. Now I have to think about my next new business idea. Another quest. My last one was accepted. I'm speed my next one will be accepted by some kind person as well. 26, 20... 25 or 26 year old sorcerer would be nice, but a 20, uh, 31 or 32 year old thief sounds really fun too. If a thief were to accept my quest, he may steal my heart. <clears throat> when I went to the tavern today, the bartending old fart told me that someone accepted my quest. And guess what I found out? It was Durgan again. Durgan must think that I'm his partner. Oops. Apologies for peeking at your stuff. Alright, back to descending down to the labyrinth. Pardon me. Back to the shortcut, and then down to the next. Don't mind me. Uh, hey, Kobo. Kobo passing by. I'm assuming that's Kobo. Huh, what do you want? Unless Kobo is a nickname for Kobolds, that works too. That's also possible. Would those you gives me a broken sword? Huh? A broken sword? Oh, okay. I'll give it to you. Just be thankful to me. Kobold threw the broken sword at Francois. Broken sword hit Francois directly in his belly. That's... that's hurt. You're just mean, Kobo. Huh, that's for stopping me. Kobold stomped away in a bad mood. That's... was be mean. He's be horrible. But I've got another one, so it's be okay. Francois, still teary-eyed, trudged off holding the broken sword. Did, did did you lock up game? Hello? Really? My controller's responding. Do I have to restart the console? Really? Come on, man. Yep, it is not responding to any input at all, so I have to restart the game. Bugger. Ah, oh, 
just made drive loading noises. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was weird. And then I get hit by an encounter. Hopefully it's not a sneak attack. Or, or a back attack. Okay, I'm gonna go back and sell this because part of the thing what you want to do, um, with these items, or selling them, is because long and short version is you may notice that we are absolutely loaded for cash right now. That's a good thing that we are loaded for cash. And most of the spells that we have crafted have not taken any money actually, you know, craft. So what we want to do is we want to have enough... So, by selling the items to the shop... Selling, well, at least one of each item to the shop. We then are in a situation where we have enough. Where, if for some reason one of our spell ca spellcasters snuffs it, or we unlock a vellum with a particularly hard to come by item by going back to the shop, we can if we, if they have the items we need there, then we can just buy them, get what we need to craft the vellum, and be done. It also minimizes the amount of grinding we have to do on higher levels for stuff like Bogey Cat's Claw, Bogey Cat's Fur, or Bogey Bird's Claw, or that sort of thing. since there's enough stuff here, like since I'm on this first level, I might as well deal with some of this stuff now. Alright. Bell Clamps do. Yep, see rotten meat is in stock now, so the broken sword, the thief's blood, and the cocoon. Okay, looks like I lost my connection there. Fortunately, still recording for the Let's Play, so we're good there. And this happened fairly early on.
Yeah, but I'm far enough away, close enough in that I can backtrack for this one. I mean, this is a pretty quick turnaround time, too, because it wasn't that long from my last check-in where we got the, uh, um, bogey bird and all of that, or the, the, um, cocoon and all of that stuff to show up. So, pretty quick turnaround. Now we got all the first level creatures, and with the claw, that's all of our with the um, uh, rotting flesh that covers level two as well. <clears throat> We're missing the wizard, ninja, and samurai items from uh, the, the the priest, ninja. Samurai and um, yeah, priest, ninja, samurai, and uh, wizard items from B2 and B3. That's fine. This one I will take, not because I'm going to sell anything, but because I do it. I mean, I, it's a Broken Sword good spell component, I can level up my attack spells further. Slime's goo is useful. I'm actually having enough, had that in my inventory for long enough that I... Probably some spell crafting I could do with that if I had... Or could have done earlier if I had some. That's fine. Alright. Honestly, it probably wouldn't actually hurt to just pop back to town and just use all these use all these materials I've accumulated thus far. Haven't leveled haven't even come close to leveling up, but triggered a quest, which is fine. I haven't gotten the frog tongue yet.
So I don't need to rest up. Because I haven't taken any damage. And I haven't used any spells, and I haven't leveled up. And we're done here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.